Praise is my passion, most high got me flattered Speaking to my heart the way it's moving through the patterns Remind me of the Sabbath, find a quiet place to rest Read about the sun, blood flowing, there's more than menstrual when I lay the text That mean I'm covered by the blood in case you missed it Anti-secular patterns when my rhymes are full of misfits It's such a delightful truth that I stand on The roar through my ocean breeze take me away like hell gone On high ground with my tags on Bless me from my button up down to the crispy pants that I have on See the sun I take a glance on Present myself a living sacrifice Something I'm glad to take a chance on What up my peoples? Welcome to another great conversation at IMTV Talks Man, I'm talking to the man at OG Buck 500 M Town building, what's good with you, man? Hey man, all praise to the most high, man. First and foremost, man, all praise to you, man. Shout out to you, bro. All good over this way, man. Man, much love to you as well, man. Man, um, I appreciate it, man. Thank you for all keeping the contact, man. You came through last season when you when you dropped the um <laughs> Well, matter of fact, we 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 gonna talk about that as well. I don't wanna reveal too much just yet, man, but can you reiterate? Um, I just said it a second ago, but can you re- reiterate where you're from? Oh, yeah, most definitely, man. Um, just to clarify, I'm originally from Memphis, uh, Tennessee. That's where I'm originally from. But a lot of my my hometown, where I really feel like I gave a lot more love at, is in the Boo Hill, Missouri, uh, Perusville. Uh, that's why I currently, well, I live in Missouri now, but that's really where I truly feel like my home is there. So yeah, I'm originally from Memphis, but a lot of times in my music, you might hear me shout out to Boo Hill. They're like my second home, for real, for real. Man, and, and, and the reason I say M Town because like, even even in the truth, like you still come with that southern soul in your music. Uh, hey man, you hey, you got, but you got to though, man. You got to put that what they call it that flavor on there, you know. Yeah. Hey, you got to put some sauce with that mug, man. You got you got to be relatable, you know. Yeah. You ain't relatable to the people, man. You know, in some kind of way. Hey, they ain't gonna hear you, you know. And then what brother put me on? Like, hey, you got to make music that's relatable to like the youngest out here for real, for real. Cause they the ones who need to hear it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right. It ain't really just more so for the you know older generation. We ain't there though, but we up, we getting there. <laughs> you know, what I mean? <laughs> so we gotta make it pop, man. Man, so um, man, so um, back to what I was saying a minute ago, man. When we when we linked up last season, um, you dropped an amazing project last year called More Than a Conqueror. Like, can you just recap more than the conqueror, the inspiration, and you know what it did for the for the kingdom? Man, basically, more than the conqueror, man, for real, for real. It's more so just an album about overcoming, and you know, Lord, you know, do say that we are more than a conqueror. So you know, it ain't just about just simply overcoming just the minors, but you know, when you a conqueror, man, you know, you doing you going over and beyond your normal limits <laughs> you know what i'm saying to achieve what you're trying to achieve and that's basically the message i was trying to bring you know bring out with that album like you can do more <clears throat> than just conquer we are just more than just a conqueror and it's truth and whatever you really just doing in life you know i mean i come to understand that everybody ain't gonna be where we at right now <laughs> you know i deal with battle like every day <clears throat> you know and i try to paint a picture through the music but it through some visuals, or however the message can get across. So that's why I feel like, you know, with more than a conqueror, when I was going through it, a lot of it is projection. It's a lot of what I'm going through mentally, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like if I'm going through it mentally, hey, brother, you might feel me too. So, you know, hey, if you can help me overcome whatever I'm going through, whether it's through some poem, whatever you got, hey, we more than conquer together because we need each other, you feel me? So it was basically yeah. just an album about just simply trying to overcome this life, man, because it's it's rough out here, you know. And I know you see it like I see it. You feel me? <clears throat> yeah, true that, man. So now, man, you look, you come out of nowhere. Uh, right. Everybody truth. think I'm invisible, man. <laughs> 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 I did pop about nowhere. I don't, I don't even give no uh. I don't even be giving no uh, just it just pop out and go do something for what five hundred. Yeah. <laughs> I might I might do better, but you know, it's crazy work, man. Oh, man, 
the the drop was amazing man you i appreciate it bro man you come out with this dope album this year called thoughts in my mind like oh yeah, yeah. the concept and the inspiration behind thoughts in my mind uh well like just, just like i was just recently just saying you know a lot of things that we do man we project um, this song really just came to me because I ain't gonna lie to you, big bro. I'm like an emotional writer. Like I still battle with certain with certain things I daily go through through this life. You know, you know what it is. You know, just daily temptations. And I just wanted to vent on this album. Let's be real with you. And it was just basically the thoughts that I was just dealing with. Like you know, whether it be anger, lust, temptations, when I hurt somebody. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was just trying to use that same method from overcoming to dealing with the thoughts in my mind as well because you know just like being more than the conqueror the first person you got to overcome is yourself right yeah. so you know what i'm saying thoughts in my mind is basically just a projection of things that i feel like uh, even though i'm in this truth and i'm trying to walk it daily it's still tough i still battle with these thoughts you know what i'm saying i still have these issues you know what i'm saying so I ain't want to get too deep with that album. <laughs> I want to basically like throw a test run out there because it's a lot I want to say, but I don't want to, you know, go too deep. But I just want to keep it still biblical, but still edifying at the same time yeah. that makes sense, you know? <clears throat> so that kind of like how thoughts in my mind. It was just a lot that I was going through the last couple of years, then with family, <clears throat> job, the situations, and I just had to let it out. <laughs> you only might, you know? It, it takes time to get these projects rolling, but Lord willing, man, they're gonna stay consistent this time. True that. And also between thoughts in my mind and and more than the conqueror, I saw that you've been putting in work with true boys. Like, how did oh, you make that film? Oh uh, yeah, well that that's a brother that you no know, he well I actually seen some of his videos, you know, on the net on the internet, you know. <clears throat> I'm like, man, they better go hard in the paint, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I ain't gonna lie to you for real, for real. I ain't think I barely go with the bro. Cause the bro's like, you know, <clears throat> it do bars like on a whole nother all crazy. <laughs> so I ain't gonna win. You know, even when they saying they better go hard in the paint. And like I just really just reached out to him. <clears throat> Cause we go to the same uh, we go to the same camp, but he goes to a different location. And I just simply reached out to the bro, like, man, I, I had got this beat I had uh, got off the internet. You know, after we did a little, you know, the uh, encounter and whatnot, I'm like, hey, bro, I got this beat. Oh, um, man, this little melody, I, man, I think you'll sound good on the wop, 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 man. You know what I'm saying? When we chopped up game, <clears throat> and he basically simply just came through with that hot six, I mean, that hot, that hot uh, verse he put on that mug, and it was just a rap from there, for real. And it, it was a blessing, man, because, you know, <clears throat> that was my first feature in the street. <laughs> so you know yeah. like I you know I, I mean for real like you know networking that way it's still like I gotta learn that what my game really be like uh slipping it because I'm not a good networker <laughs> you know what I'm saying you know you just throw stuff out on the internet and think it's just gonna go viral but nah man there's a lot of politics with that <laughs> so hey I mean you know what I'm saying he just basically showed me some love on that track man I hope we do some more work in the future and I do want to do work with other brothers and sisters but I, you know, Lord willing, it started to happen more, you know? For sure. Man, um, also, like, in, like, the, and again, between More Than the Conqueror and Thought to My Mind, like, you, I've been hearing some great production on your projects. Like, who do you, what producers you work with? Well, um, well, I, I usually get my beats, my instrumentals. I, I can make instrumentals, but I'm a really just a one-man team right now. Okay. So I I record myself, you know. I, I got my own studio. Um, I got all the equipment, all that. <laughs> but uh, I usually work by myself. I mean, I, I want to get more into making my own instrumentals as well. But, you know, with a team, it can happen more quicker. But when you're by yourself, you kind of gotta use whatever resources that's available for you. Yeah. So you know what I'm saying? I usually just use my own equipment and I put it out there on the net. And I try to, you know, uh, build, I'm trying to like, right now what I'm trying to do is just build up a consistent fan base that know that I do that I do, do music. <laughs> you know, I don't know why I do music. So that's why I appreciate platforms like yours and all the brothers and sisters and two man doing it on the grassroots level, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? because. 
We need that, bro. We need that 100. <clears throat> For sure. Man, um, well, shoot, look, talk about making the best of what you got, man. You definitely, you coming out strong, bro. And I appreciate that, bro, man. It's all love here, man. I really appreciate what y'all doing, bro. A hundred, man. This is going to pop, man, Lord willing. For sure, for sure. Man, so I got this part of the show called Music Inspiration. Right. Well, I name a few songs and you just share with these songs me to you. Okay. So the first song I want to name is look back to the first project, More Than the Conqueror, the theme song. My more than the conqueror theme song. That that's really the that that's the song. I mean that's really I wouldn't say that's like my second favorite song on that album. Um, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I love that song. I love that beat. And that was the song I really wanted to be the main. If I had to pick a viral song, it would be that one because I feel like this song right there explains um, the overcoming aspect of more than a comfort. You know what I'm saying? Of trying to overcome and dealing with the day to day situations or whatnot. So that song basically was just inspired this dude, my past life. Or people saying you ain't gonna never do it, you ain't gonna make it, you're gonna be, you know what I'm saying, you're gonna be drunk, I don't know, something like that. <laughs> it's overcoming period that I'm more than a conqueror. Even though, for real, I'm not like where I wanna be at, like as far as the music wise, as me being a millionaire, I'm on the scene with all this and all that, like I wanted to be, because we all had dreams from a little youngin of where we wanted to be in this music game. <laughs> I'm not there. But I'm not in a point to where I'm just living in a, my life regretting because you know I'm walking with the most high now. And I'm looking for yeah. a, a better reward than what the world could really just offer me on that matter. So it's deep, bro. It's deep. <laughs> but that's one of my favorite cuts too, right? <laughs> for sure. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Man, the next song is You and Truth Boss, whatever it takes. Yeah, and that, that song right there, that was more of a song for the people. I uh, I really wanted to like give people like encouragement to do whatever it takes because it really ain't no easy thing you could tell someone in this walk. I mean, you could try like you know, say something simple as keeping stabbing. I can't really make this no simple for you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But as us as us being brothers and sisters in this group, man, we got to do whatever it takes. And the the thing, the key part of that song is to walk straight. And I mean, just you know how we gotta walk. We gotta be a light. We gotta be the example. We gotta put forth those fruits. And we gotta do whatever it takes. Like Christ say, deny yourself. Pick up the cross and follow me. So that's what we gotta do. Whatever it takes. So that's basically the motivation that I got when I when I did that cut right there. And then what my mind was at on. <laughs> right. True that, man. And the next song look, is the Thoughts of My Mind theme song. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, man, I, I ain't gonna lie. Hey, when I, when I heard that beat, man, I, that came instantly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, had to, I, had to do, I had to redo that cut like a hundred different times, man. I couldn't really sing it right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But that's really what Thoughts of My Mind was basically just like me sitting around bending. And I didn't know what direction I wanted to go with that song at first. I ain't know if I want to get on some street stuff because you know I'm building yeah. the DVDs up. You know, I try to keep it, you know, level down or whatnot, man. It basically just a song. I was just reflecting on myself, um, the things that I was just thinking about, and just understanding. Sometimes, hey, man, I ain't gonna lie, you know, I'm in this truth. I get lost in them thoughts. <laughs> you know, you know, sometimes we do move in error. You know, sometimes I do move in anger, and I might think in anger. <clears throat> you know, I'm just lost in my mind right now. But the Lord bring me back. So hey, I'm here. <clears throat> you know. Man, and now this song, now this is bad. Like I love the whole album, but this is one of my personal favorites. What's that right there? Man? <laughs> and this joint is called One Night Only. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm gonna keep it real honey, with you, man. That that I don't know. I think that song was a little bit of vanity. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna get done with it. It was a little bit of vanity because like, I heard, when I heard the beat, I came up with the hook or whatnot. And I, I wanted to like, you know, kind of write that song, but I didn't want to be too vain with it because like, I wanted to make it like a song where you feel like you can get up and, you know, move too, but at the same time still be like, 
what you know he's talking about something so it's like one night only man if i had one night only to do what i had to do to make the right move you better do it you know yeah. it's just for one night you know what i'm saying so hey i, I wanted to kind of like motivate that for anybody who heard it like dang he talking about this on the track you know it was a short song i wish i could have made it longer but it was it's like you know i like that cut too you know what I'm saying? It really wasn't no deep motivation on that one right there, but it was just something I just feel like I wanted to be a little bit out of the norm on that good. <laughs> you yeah. know what I'm saying? Man, that's, that's a dope song, man. And hey, I appreciate that, bro. No problem. And last but not least, another hard-hitting joint on the album, All Praises. Ah, uh, yeah. Now, that song right there, um, you know, you talking about on, um, I got two All Praises. Let's be this one. Which one you talking about? The new, the new one. Don't talk okay, about yeah, that. yeah, yeah. Okay, that one. That song right there. That was the song. Me now. I like. I like that song. I really do. I think that's one of my best form, <clears throat> best formatted songs I did on that album. And I basically wanted to go in there with that fight. You know, preaching yeah. that book through them lyrics on that song. Mm-hmm. Like you know what I'm saying, I like all praises. I ain't on the block going crazy. You know what I'm saying? I was giving my testimony. <laughs> you know uh-huh. what I'm saying? Like I said earlier, bro, I like to vent. And you know, when you by yourself a lot, man, you don't got nobody to talk to. And you don't want to be talking to yourself. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But if you do, I ain't gonna knock it. But I mean, you gotta let it out. So all praise it was just like a build up. Like if I could get on the block right now with some brothers and preach this word, I'd be like, you know what I'm saying? I just let it out. But my way of letting it out is just through the flow. And that's why this song kind of like flow like it does, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I like yeah. that. That's that one of the most edifying because to me. Man, that's amazing, <laughs> man. So, you know, besides, you know, surprising us with the new album, man, what's next, man? What more can we we expect from Buck 500? Well, like I say, man, my, my goal is still pretty much the same. I'm trying to build up, um, you know, edify the body. It's something I kind of like, you know, want to stand on edifying us brothers and sisters i want to get more in, in tune do some shows start traveling get up on more of these interviews and build up this grassroots movement that we're doing trying to do now and it's truth because we need it and because we the light man and we got to put forth this righteousness this righteous content and this is yeah. what it's about now and we gotta we gotta really i ain't gonna lie brother it's, it's gonna be a battle because we ain't you know we ain't got no multi-million dollar corporation pushing us we doing this all with the bare minimums that we have. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So we gonna really need each other. And I'm down, like, you know, I'm down to support movements, I'm down to support causes, whatever it takes, you know what I'm saying? To make this thing pop like it needs to pop. And I ain't really looking for no fame. It's more than, I ain't gonna, I mean, we all got a little vanity in us, but <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I ain't, but my, my end goal is just to really just get us in the position to work. It can be a balance in this world. And basically give our little youngest something to look, you know, a choice. Like, hey, I could do rap like this and it could be righteous. And instead of doing rap like this and got to be all wicked, talking about the girl and all that stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? So it's it basically just to counteract all what we see right now is going on in the world. So that's what my goal is, man, to boost up this grassroots movement <clears throat> and keep supporting until that door, you know what I'm saying, until we kick down that door for real. Man, and you ain't lying, man, about mm-hmm. all of us needing each other and edifying the body. Like, though right. I'm a solo artist, I'm with a group called Kingdom United. Right. And it's a collective of over 20 solo artists. Okay. And the thing I've been preaching all season is like, you know, all props if you're able to do stuff by yourself, like, you know, it's a wonderful thing, but right. you can't deny the fact that there's strength in numbers. Man, it is a big strength in numbers, and we need that right there. And you know, I know it's I know it's town taboo to say stuff like that, because we you know you hear it all the time. But when you put your fan to that plow, you see how true that is. Yeah. Man, we do need each other, man. We need to support each other. I try to like, share. You know, Facebook got a messed up algorithm, man. Sometimes I'll be seeing your interviews like three days. I'm like, dang, I'm yeah. like, God, okay, you catch that real quick. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They act really all, but that's why we need each other to keep on sharing, liking. And I know, like, you know, people might get them messages and be like, oh, this is annoying. Look, man, we trying to be you. And how you think they do it? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's the same way. You know what I'm saying? So we just, uh, you know, we the little mustard seed. We're trying to go into that big mountain, man. 
So it's gonna take that support, man. I support and salute all the brothers and sisters on it down for real. Man, true that. Man, well, ladies and gentlemen, kings and queens, man, this has been another great conversation. Your boy I'm Jay Buck Scooter talking to the I Buck 500, man. <laughs> right, Thank right. You once again. <laughs> All praises to you, bro. And I so appreciate you, man. In your platform, respect and love to all y'all brothers and sisters out there. Man, Definitely. thank you as well, man. Man, well, with that being said, man, we're going to get into some more of this righteous music. This your op, your friendly neighborhood DJ, J.U.L. Judah, checking out with Stephen Israel, Buck 500. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Want to say much love, continue to love the most high. Love each other and love yourselves. Take care, y'all.
face got our name so you know we ruling the finest wine in the city know we kind of sue us them laws written in our hearts the covenant is new we move in righteousness with everything that we do conversations with the prophets we get in the truth eating manna every day talking angel food number section a living our section is great all of our people eating good we scraping the plate we got another second helpings the feeling is great no hunger pains on this side if you want to come inside repent because it's kingdom time Took a few turns, I have even learned a couple of lessons Even when I was hard-headed, I didn't think about the wreckage My trials has been a total blessing It's been a long ride, now I feel like a lonely God told me you won't suffer no longer Nah, I was knocked down, it only fueled my hunger Which didn't kill me, only made me stronger made I've been stronger. going through the same mess for a few years Have a lot of fears and I shed a lot of tears Drinking like a fool, hold your cup up, cheers My clutch was so stuck, I couldn't switch gears Staying in neutral, up and down like a seesaw Times in my life, I wanted to forget it all Called on MIB, erase my memory So have no recollection of this pain and jealousy Yeah, but that was really wishful thinking Had a hard head, that's why my ship keeps sinking Preaching on Sunday, thinking that I'm killing this Then come Monday, I am back in the wilderness Yeah I was lost in transition, have no direction, my compass was missing Cataracts in my eyes, I couldn't see the sun I learned a lot of lessons, life one on one Man. Stronger than ever, stronger than ever Took a few turns, I have even learned a couple of lessons Even when I was hard-headed, I didn't think about the wreckage My trials has been a total blessing It's been a long ride, now I feel like a lonely God told me you won't suffer no longer I was knocked down, it only fueled my hunger It didn't kill me, only made me stronger Made me strong I was shot down, persecuted, didn't know any better I was clueless, neglected and humiliated People giving me help I didn't want to take it Talking to myself Lying in pity So ashamed Running from the committee Sad and angry all the time I couldn't stop kicking God I need your help I need an intervention Yes And then he came to my rescue I realized the most high is my refuge Swimming in the ocean Biting on the devil's bait Repenting for my junk He gave me a clean slate I might be hurting in my body But that's okay I'm amazing give God Anyway. The devil throwing bullets really trying to murk me Strong in the spirit, kryptonite can't hurt me 